Hi, Cappy. All right, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm going to be doing your current energy reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, let's jump into it. Let's see what's going on. Oh, let's see what's going on with my Cappies. Anything significant with my Cappies? Give me some cards, please. What's going down with Cappies? Give me some cards. Anything significant? All right. Ace of Swords is coming out on the bottom of the deck. I feel like, like, Truthful conversations are to be had coming up. It does feel like you have to have a really, it's not even a heart to heart. It's kind of like taking your emotions out of a, a situation and just telling it how it is. And when I say taking your emotions out of a situation, it's kind of like even maybe how you feel towards a person, just spitting straight facts. If you're afraid that it's going to hurt someone's feelings, it's kind of like, well, this needs to be said. Okay. Um, what's behind that? Yeah. Five of swords. It does feel like it could lead into an argument. I do feel like it would possibly lead into an argument or a disagreement because I feel like you could be dealing with someone who's super immature and super impulsive with their emotions and someone who kind of plays a lot of childish games. That's what I'm getting. I'm saying that because the page of wands is in reverse, which is the second card out. So it kind of feels like someone is not acting their age or someone is just being super childish in a situation. And it's affecting you somehow that you need to speak up about this or just be honest with this person. But it could be hard to just be truthful with this person because they are so immature, okay? So I am getting that. As far as like your lifestyle and work and maybe even your love life, it looks like everything's in perfect balance or harmony. It also looks like you've been, you've been like very drama free for a long time. So having to have a conversation with someone about them kind of just being immature, it's like something that you really would not want to bring into your life because it does cause drama having to speak to this person and be honest with them, but it is what it is. I feel like too, there's this energy, the world card. So you could be traveling, you could be going traveling somewhere or um, you're like leveling up or you're closing out a cycle. And I feel like you kind of have to like, it's almost like it's the new year, right? Like Capricorn, is it still your birthday? If it is or if it isn't still, happy birthday to all my Capricorns. I hope that this new age blesses you with lots of prosperity, abundance, love, um, good friendships, good family relationships, and just lots of luck. But anyway, it feels like this is like a level up that you're going through, of course, and certain people can't come. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still sick, guys. Um, but it feels like, okay, people can't come. So I don't know if this is like a sibling, a cousin, a friend. This could even be a child. You could be, you know, maybe having to not um, reward bad behavior. And it's kind of sad, like if this is an adult that we're referencing, that you have to speak like that. But I feel like someone is just, not in a good element. Like they're too childish, too immature, too, they, they play petty games. That's what it's giving. So let's get into the reading. Let's start clarifying these cards for my Cappies. All right. All right. Temperance for my Capricorns. Temperance for my Capricorns, please. What's the temperance? Hmm. All 
Okay. Um, some of you guys could have had a fallout with a Sagittarius, like um, a friend of yours, Three of Cups, or like loss of a bond or loss of attraction towards maybe a Sagittarius, or you're just kind of having a loss of a bond or attraction to a certain person because you're in a very balanced place and this person seems all over the place. So it's kind of like, dang, I got to stop hanging out with you or I need to separate myself or I can't meet you or I don't want to go to your party or you're not invited to my party because you're kind of all over the place. I also feel like some of you guys could be having like a dry January where you're like, I'm not going to drink or you're just kind of trying to cut down on the more toxic type of activities. Um, even if it's done in a good place, you just feel like, okay, this is my year to try to cut certain things down. Hmm. I feel like you're also just really well balanced and you're in a very stress-free, drama-free energy that maybe some of your friends don't know how to practice that in their life. They don't know how to let go of certain things that they been through, or maybe they're repeating cycles with exes or like, you know, friends that are not good to them and it's rubbing off into their life. So I feel like you're just kind of like not feeling attracted to a certain friend group or a friend, or you're not feeling like you, like y'all mesh the same. It's like, I'm in a whole different space, energy space, and you're kind of still, you're kind of still thinking and living a kind of life that's not in a good energy space. So it does feel like you kind of want to separate yourself from these people or this person. All right, let's see what this is about. <clears throat> Temperance, please. Hmm. Yeah, we have doctor here. So it's like someone is not doing well, but you also feel like, you know what, it's not my responsibility to see if how why this person is not doing well. I feel like you could have offered someone the service of like therapy, like, hey, you should go to a therapy session or you should go get, you know, go check on your, your health, maybe even your mental health, because temperance does give mental health. And someone is just refusing to do it. They're not trying to get better. They're not trying to elevate. They're not trying to better themselves. They're not trying to live in a peaceful lifestyle. They're kind of all about the drama and like the childish-ish, you know? Yeah. You're, the way that you're trying to communicate this to someone is not getting through to them because I feel like you're babying this person a little bit too much with that doctor and we have letter here. The way that you're like you're doctoring up what needs to be said because you're kind of you're not trying to come off as harsh, but something needs to be said to this page of wands in reverse. All right. Who is this page of wands in reverse enough? Right. Who is this page of wands in reverse? Who is this person? I feel like this is just not. It's like delivering bad news, page of wands in reverse, right? What is this about? The world card, okay? I don't know. Some of you guys have to deliver the news that maybe you're moving away from someone or you have to move away or you're like you're taking a trip or the world could just be like, um, bye, I'm closing out the cycle between us. I don't want to be friends no more. Jesus. Or this could even be a relationship like, you know, I think we should call it quits. It's no good way to say these things, okay? It's, and you're trying to do it in a way of compassion, but you have to be real about what your needs and your wants are and how you, you don't think that you're going to find them here. Yeah. If you're masculine, you're in this energy of maybe if you're dating someone or even if you have family or friends, it's like you're super focused on your career and your fin financial goals. You're really getting your life in a very stable place and position. And you know that people or situations can become liabilities in your life. And everything that you work so hard for, you're not wanting to diminish that based off of the company you keep. Um, this can also talk about like if you're dating my masculines, 
You're like, if, if I'm dating someone who is not in the mindset of settling down or being monogamous, then I'm going to have to close out that, that chapter. So it feels like you're babying someone or you have to babysit someone. And then what makes me sad too, is that this almost feels like also a parent, like having to cut ties with a child that's very unruly. And it, it's kind of sad, but you know, I don't know what to say about that. Yes, frivolity. Someone is very carefree. And I'm telling you, you were walking, you already have, and you will, because you know, like you can accomplish certain goals in your life, and then you know it only gets better from here. So you have, and you will continue to gain more finances, gain more stability, you know, have that, um, have more better assets in your life. And when you allow people in your life who just don't give a fuck, because that's what frivolity is about, it's just being carefree and careless. When people just don't care about themselves, how can they care about you and everything that you've attained in your life? They don't. So when you're dating people like that, or when you're friends with people like that, or you just allow people to be in your personal space like that, yes, there are consequences to that of losing your sanity, you know, um, or losing everything that you work so hard for. And it's like, I don't want to go backwards. Um, a lot of you guys are the queen of wands or the king of wands. So you're like thinking of a very big leader mindset. You also have this energy of attracting things. Like it's kind of like you are what you eat. It's like you are what you attract. So I can only be around a good vibration of people, things, and places. And that's just kind of how I feel about the situation. You're not in this energy of being slowed down with that King of Wands, Queen of Wands. You're not in that energy of being um, held back. And you know that your decisions make for that. So sometimes you have to be the advocate for yourself by speaking up. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Wands for Cappy. Judgment, okay? So this is interesting. And the Five of Wands. I do feel like there is someone here that maybe there's like a, like again, a Sagittarius, a, a Leo or Aries, or maybe just like a, there seems like a feminine energy. I have to keep it real, but I don't know. Maybe also if you're a feminine Capricorn, you're attracting this as the queen of wands because she attracts. There is someone wanting to come in and ask for a second chance. Um, they're not really coming to the conclusion that you have already came up with in your head of just closing out this cycle and moving forward and letting bygones be bygones, no bad blood. I'm just, this is just not for me. Someone is like five of wands judgment. They're like, no, I don't agree with that. We need to revisit this. We can try this again. You need to give me a, a second chance. We can revisit this. So it's like, if you are trying to break things off with a relationship with a person, or you're trying to break things off with a certain friend group, or you're trying to, you know, whatever you're trying to distance in, distance yourself from, it feels like this person is trying to convince you, or these people are trying to convince you to um, try again. But the world card is like, mm, I don't think I can repeat a cycle, you know, because that's kind of just holding me back. What's the world? What's the world, please? What's the world? So whoever you are, or whoever I'm speaking to, right? Um, two of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups is the world. So it's like trying to weigh your pros and cons of staying and going. And it's like, okay, I think it's better for me to emotionally detach myself, but it's kind of hard because you also are dealing with the devil energy 
And this is the type of energy or person or group that will become very clingy and codependent on you as you're trying to exit. So, you know, if you're not strong enough to kind of just look the other way, it will be hard to kind of move forward and move on. But it does feel like a situation where someone right now is thinking, okay, the pros and cons, like if I was to stay and allow them to redeem themselves, would this, what would that be? Would that even benefit me at all? But if I do leave this behind, what are the benefits that I gain from that? So someone's kind of trying to see what's going on and also pushing themselves to try to emotionally detach so that their emotions, like I said, taking your emotions out of a situation and just saying it for truly what it is, um, your emotions don't hold you back in the situation. Let's see what's going to happen here. Let's see what's going to happen here. What's expected to be the outcome in this situation? What's expected to be the outcome in this situation? All right, we have the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands. I do feel like there may be more time bought from the person who's trying to keep the person around. I feel like they will get more time bought. Um, and it feels like an emotional thing. Like if I bring my emotions into it, then I can get so-and-so to stay behind a little bit more. But there is that energy surrounding that person who wants to leave with that two of wands where they're looking for more and better. And they know that more and better is out there and that they deserve better. And then kind of like, you know, out of nowhere, even like maybe even abruptly, they still take action and decide to move forward or whatever the action is going to be. I feel like it is moving forward with that Knight of Swords. It's kind of like unexpected action. So it's like, okay, you may think I'm staying around, but I'm still longing to go. That's what it feels like. Yeah, thief, like a thief in the night. Like, you know, I'm here now, but as soon as you close your eyes, you go to sleep, I'm I'm breaking out and I'm gone like that. Okay. So that's what it feels like. Let's get the last words of the situation. I will say always choose you because in the end, that's what this other person is doing, you know? So that's what I'll say. All right, let's see. Last words for Cappy dealing with the situation. Oops. Last words for my Cappy dealing with the situation, please. All right. Big following. So someone definitely has a big following in the situation for sure. All right. Let's see what else we have here. We have miserable without you. We have I'm pregnant surprise. We have friends first. We have breakup. We have struggling inside. Will you be mine? Which is like a new beginning in love, like Ace of Cups energy. We have October, Libra, or Scorpio. You could be dealing with October of 2023. Could have been very significant. <clears throat> we have I've been hurt before. Intimidated. 
Happy birthday. Oh, that was nice. That came out for you. Um, let's see what else. Juggling partners. Balanced relationship. Yeah, I feel like that's what someone really wants at the end of the day. They just want someone balanced. They want a balanced relationship. And they're thinking, okay, I can get that elsewhere, you know, if I'm not getting it here. Um, sex could be better. I miss you. Okay, alcoholic. And we have, I'm telling the truth. All right, speak your truth, Capricorn. With that being said, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure you guys like the video, comment down below. Let me know if this resonated. Also, subscribe so you don't miss out on your next um, Capricorn reading in my in any of my lives that I do on here. What else was I going to say? Oh, yes. Happy, happy birthday to all my Capricorns. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be great. All right. Bye, guys.